I found some really awesome catfish at my LFS and I couldn't help myself. Stay tuned, y'all. up y'all welcome to another unboxing I just got back from my LFS and I seen a few things that I could not pass up right here at my local fish store and that's what I'm about to unbox right now and I cannot wait to get them out and get them into the tank today is a good day so let's go ahead all righty bag number one of course this fish right here honestly is a little hard to tell if it's a true specimen until it gets to a certain size but this is what they were sold to my LFS as. But I got one Cynodonis Petricola. I don't know if that one's focusing very well there. Cynodonis Petricola. All right. And two Cynodonis Petricola. Now if you can see that little booger, it's a little smaller than the first one. But they both are very, very active. I've already got a tank set up for them. And I got one more thing in here. But I'm going to save that one to another video. Because I feel like it deserves its own video. So you'll have to tune in for the next video. If this is a Monday, it'll be Thursday. If this is a Thursday, it'll be Monday. I don't know when this video will upload. But the other thing that's in this box, you guys are wanna, gonna wanna come back for the unboxing of that. So let's go ahead and get these Cynodonis floating in their tank. And I'll check back in with you after they've been floating for 30 minutes or so. And we'll get them in some specimen containers and get some close ups. I'm so excited. All right guys, I chose this 55 gallon low boy to be the tank to put these petrocolas in. I'm gonna temporary, temporarily house them in here and grow them out a little bit. I use this tank as a grow out for all my little catfish and stuff. And um, I've got some uh, Lusa penis on order, but it might be a month still before they come in. But I am gonna go ahead and get those little guys in this little specimen container. And let me get you guys a little closer you guys can see them. So I'm gonna go ahead and get them poured into the specimen container. I'll kind of do that live where you guys can see it. Um, get this little... Kool-Aid pitcher to dump a little bit of the excess water out. And of course, he had a little bit of issues getting out. <laughs> All right, so there's that one. There's actually a lot less water in the bags than what I thought. What's behind bag number two? Bag number two, Cynodonis Petricola. All right, so now I'm gonna move the light over here. And in order to do that, I always put these little guys. Right 
right here to keep them to keep it from falling off all right let's get zoomed in on these little fellers and uh, I'll probably freehand this for you guys can see them better all right guys take a look at these bad boys um, on the screen it's not looking like one of them is bigger than the other but um, when you see them see them together they really do a little bit different in size but they are dynamic I've never had um, Cynodonis catfish at all and these little petricolas are always so cool I love the way that they swim and stuff um, they're just really cool to watch and I think that they're gonna enjoy this little tank that I set up for them they like to have uh, their temperature around I think I was reading 75 degrees somewhere around in there or maybe 72 to 75 somewhere around in there they like to have rocks and um, different rock piles and stuff like that I did we'll go around here on the back side I did go ahead and put these little stackable things I've had those in a different tank for a while I think they'll like those and uh, it's gonna be dark I keep the light on the front side of the tank on this one but all kinds of little caves and rocks whoopsie just about knocked my light off there all kinds of different caves and rocks rock piles and such for them and I believe that they are gonna enjoy it so since these guys do have um, little barbs I don't believe I'm gonna net them I think I'm gonna try to dump out as much water as I can that way um, the dilution in the tank would be just minimal if there was issues but um, I'm gonna get some b-roll before I put them in the tank because I believe once I put them in the tank it's gonna be history I think they're gonna be gone um, so I'm gonna take some b-roll then I'll put you guys back on the tripod and I'll put the light over the tank and I will slowly release them on camera for you guys so you can see them go into their new home but would you take a look at these bad boys they are awesome just literally amazing makes me really really get excited about my lusa penis because the lusa penis um, I believe that I'm gonna get like 10 of those so but these uh, synodonis or sorry these petricolas I will um, I'll probably end up taking them out of this tank because the um, Lusa Penis I'll put in this tank or that's originally what I had planned was to put all the Lusa Penis in here so all right guys I'm gonna get some b-roll and then I'll put you guys on the tripod and we'll get them bad boys in the tank Jack and Jill the old Jack and Jill all right guys it is time I'm gonna go ahead and get as much of this water out as I can it's sure funny how they like to go towards the flooding all right guys it is time to put my Petricolas, Cynodonis Petricolas in the tank. It's the last time they'll be out. So here goes nothing. Let's see where they shoot. Whoa. That one wanted to stay in the specimen container forever. That one's staying high. There he goes. One of them is one of them is already headed for safety, and the other there goes the other one. I don't know if you guys can still see that one. It's on top of the the stackable things. All right. If I get a chance, 
in the next couple of days to get any footage of them in the tank I will do that otherwise hopefully you guys enjoyed this video I did get some good b-roll by the way so so what do you guys think um, as I said in the video um, those Cynodonis, Lucipennis, and Petricolas are a lot alike. I may not know if these are actually uh, Petricolas until they get a little bit older. Um, you know, their, their spot pattern is a little bit different than the Lucipennis. And, you know, they've got other ways that you can tell, but you have to get them out and look at them under the microscope. But all I'm saying is they were sold to me as Cynodonis, Petricolas, and that's what we're going to go with for now. Um, but we don't know for sure, so if I ever do get them to breed someday, I'll have to really make for sure before I can sell them as actual Petricolas. But other than that, if you guys are new to my channel and you do enjoy unboxing videos like this, I've got a playlist on my channel that has tons of unboxing videos on it. Go back and check that thing out, and if you enjoy it, maybe you should consider subscribing to my channel, and that would be awesome as well. Other than that, thanks for coming along on today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed, and we'll catch you all on the next one. Peace out, y'all.